Hello, welcome back to another video. I'm Liam, I'm your host from Elkhurst Climbing, and today we're with Sam from Parthian, and we're going to explore the Petzl Neox, asking the question, how many times do you have to reinvent the wheel before you actually have to add a wheel for it to get interesting? Oh man, oh! Petzl Neox may look like a member of the Grigri family, but it is ever so slightly different. It acts in many of the same ways as a Grigri. It's a camming device, it's a self-assisted belay device, but it has some key innovations which make it a pretty unique belay device, and I think quite an incredible one. The key innovation between the Neox and the Grigri is this spinning wheel on the inside. This steel wheel spins round when you're normally belaying, and then only spins for a certain amount of force. When the force is too great, the spinning stops, the wheel goes up, cams against the device, and then it turns into a regular gris gris. What this allows means that when you're belaying at a normal pace, you can give out as much slack as you need, spin, 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 and then when the climber falls or a force or a load is pushed through it, it goes up and creates that regular gris gris. The Grigri -Gri family is a really interesting product from Petzl. The original Grigri -Gri was the original self-assisted belay device and arguably has been one of the biggest innovations within the climbing industry in modern eras. What it allowed you to do was have a camming device when you were belaying. The first Grigri -Gri was the first update to the Grigri -Gri family. It made a lighter design, a smaller device, and it was more ergonomic to use. Next came along the Grigri -Gri Plus. The Grigri -Gri Plus had two modes, a lead mode and a top rope mode, and an anti-panic handle that was meant to help with the issue of lowering too fast. Finally, they updated the Grigri -Gri to have a more ergonomic design even more, and just to have some better materials and overall have a better design. Now we come along to the Neox, because all of those pre-devices had that problem of being short roped. It's buttery. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So this device is really smooth to belay with. And I think if you were a beginner and you came to this before the Grigri, -Gri, you wouldn't even know that short roping was a thing that was an issue with the Grigri. -Gri. And that's the big, big important benefit of using one of these. It just gets rid of short roping. Um, we're going to do a couple of force tests to see what it's like, but we'll also get some close-ups of it working. It doesn't grip at all. It's a super nice device to belay with. Lowering still has that issue when it comes to lowering with the Grigri that you can just open the handle and they would descend rather quickly. So the plan here is we're going to get Sam to climb up and just do a fall so you guys can kind of see it hamming in place and working super happy. I really like the way this feels through the hands, it's super chill. It feels more like an ATC than it does a Grigri when you're actually belaying. If anything it's smoother than just using a normal belay device, which I really like. Like it's scarily smooth. So what we're gonna get now is just gonna simulate Sam just resting on the route if he's projecting a route because it's interesting this device is still nice to be able to use while he rests. He's going to climb back up to the spot that he may have been struggling with, not that he will be, Sam's a super strong climber. Yeah, take. Nice. And then it's super simple to go with. Just going to look at here is what's wrong with the Grigri -Gri in terms of short roping and why it's dangerous. We're not going to demonstrate why it's dangerous, but as Sam goes to pull the rope through there, if I'm, for whatever reason, not belaying right, he can't get the rope through, which if at that point he was the fool, would be really dangerous. Just do another one. And what you see is I have to actually be really dynamic with my belaying to once the Grigri -Gri is stuck in place to get it unstuck. So Sam is just going to get on this kind of hard 7A. One beautiful thing about this device is when you're climbing harder stuff, you don't have to worry about being short roped. Mm. What's interesting is then coming back from the Grigri -Gri that we've just used and in my head thinking I've got to 
do something to stop it working and actually you can just focus on keeping the climber safe. That would have been bad if you had short ropes near that. Yeah. Ooh. Tasty. Yeah, thank you. Nice. Oh man, that was hard. Oh, shaky. Thank you for not short roping me. <laughs> that was actually a prime example. <laughs> yeah. That would have been bad. <laughs> Such a good example. Oh. Like if I short roped you, there was a couple of times there where you're like at that point of tension. Yeah, for sure. And when you short rope someone, you don't just short rope them, but you also break the tension that they've created with their body. So you almost pull them off the wall. Criticism people have talked about this device is when it's under load, it does this clicky thing, which is it engaging. And they're going to say it's annoying or it's malfunctioning. That's, I'm not convinced that that's really an issue. I think it's just part of the device and doesn't really make any difference. Like, gree gree's click. I think we kind of just need to get over that. And that was the Petzl Neox. I really like this device. I'm gonna either steal Sam's or have to get myself one. The biggest takeaway I take from this is it gets rid of any short roping from the gree gree. You don't have to be thinking the whole time when you're doing it. You can focus on keeping the climber safe. And as you've seen, there's been quite a few times when the clips are a little bit spicy that actually if I'd short roped Sam, he would have come off and it could have been quite a messy situation. If I had the money, they are a little bit expensive. I would go out and buy one today. Thank you guys. Should we do more self-assisted belay device things? See you in the next video.